door is now shut tighter. King Charles smashes Prince Andrew's royal comeback plot. Prince Andrew, who stepped back from public duties in 2019 amid a scandal, that's one way to put it, over his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, won't be returning as working royal to the firm, according to a new report. Prince Andrew may become a problem for King Charles III, as the two brothers have never really been friends. This has been revealed by a royal family insider, who thinks Prince Andrew still has some lingering resentment from his childhood. He was very close to Queen Elizabeth II and can struggle with the transition. Writing for Yahoo News as a royal editor, Omid Scobie quoted palace sources as claiming that Prince Andrew had full plans for a royal return in place before his older brother Charles became kin after the Queen Elizabeth's death. Mr Scobie said, without the soft spot for the Queen at his disposal, it was no secret that Andrew was her favourite child. The door is now shut tighter than ever for the Prince. Though King Charles III has sympathy for his brother, I'm told the newly minted sovereign will never allow him to set foot near the family business again. Mr Scobie's comments come after previous reports that Andrew held intense talks over a new position with the late Queen at Balmoral in August. A source told the son he knows he let his mother down badly, but he hasn't been convicted of the crimes he committed and then paid hush money for with taxpayers' money for years. He wants to try to establish a route back. He's hoping the Queen can influence Prince Charles and Prince William, who see no way back for him. In addition, Prince Andrew reportedly met with his lawyer earlier this year to discuss some sort of public rehabilitation. A palace source revealed the Duke of York met with members of his team in early spring this year to discuss a return to public life. Not that he ever thought he would be a working royal again, a source told Scobie, but he did discuss creating duties of his own through philanthropic efforts and being seen as the supportive son of the Queen. These would contribute to rehabilitating his image, not as the Duke of York, but simply as a man who wanted to do good, despite being friends with Jeffrey Epstein. While Andrew has consistently denied all accusations of wrongdoing and made no admission of liability, any chance of such a return appears to have been ruled out following the death of the Queen. Scobie also claimed Andrew may soon be stripped of his final link to the Crown, his role as a councillor of state. His comments were supported by a palace source revealing that King Charles and the rest of the family made sure that Prince Andrew was kept on the periphery during events after the Queen's death. In June this year, it was initially reported that Prince Andrew would attend the traditional Order of the Garter Day procession at Windsor Castle. However, he did not make an appearance after a reported intervention from Charles and William. Andrew's name was printed in the official Garter Day programme, so it is likely the change was made last minute. For someone hasn't known, Andrew stepped back from the public duties in 2019 following his disastrous Newsnight interview over his association with billionaire paedophile Jeffrey Epstein. He lost his HRH style and military roles earlier this year, ahead of paying millions to settle a civil sex assault case brought against him by the US by Virginia Giuffre. He has always strenuously denied the claims and the settlement was not an admission of guilt on the part of the Duke. 